Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a extremely special treat for you. Very, oh, I can't tell you how special the treat is tonight, guys, because we are looking at some deck idea card builds right here for Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Yes, we are taking a look at the mono black deck that is going to rock the world. You probably have already heard about it on Twitter, maybe on somewhere else, on, on Reddit, anything. You've heard about these insane combos coming out in OTJ. And I wanted to give you a look at my mono black, the, the preview. I, I don't know if this is going to be the final build. It might not be the final, but it is going to be the preview build. I'm going to explain it and show it to you what I am thinking about my deck idea for uh, OTJ mono black. Before we get into it, guys, I need you to do something for me, though, which is, of course, Tenderly press that like button, gently press that subscribe button, because if you don't, you will be attacked by the like and subscribe. If you don't like and subscribe to the channel and become a villain today, you don't want to miss all the new OTJ decks coming out real soon. Thunder Junction is coming and you better be there. You can check out our live stream on uh, twitch.tv slash thatvillainjay for a live streaming goodness. We would love to have you there live and in person on Twitch. I do stream on Twitch every night. Um, also on YouTube, hit the bell. You'll be notified when we go live on YouTube. We'd love to see you there additionally. You can check out our Discord community to post your own version of your uh, mono black builds or tell me what the best stuff coming out of OTJ is. And of course, this deck and all the other ones that I have are available down below on my Aether Hub. So if you want to see a copy of this, it's going to be on Aether Hub. Additionally, I am showing this off first. This was additionally first to my channel members and members of the Black Council. So if you want exclusive stuff like that, uh, if you want to join the podcast Patreon or become a channel member, I am going to start uh, doing a little bit of, they got a little bit of a sneak preview. Everyone is going to get the content. They got it a little bit early, so they're going to be able to see this a little early. Um, okay, so what are we talking about when we talk about Full Black Death? Well, it's going to start pretty basic. Uh, cut down and Greedy Freebooter for the, um, for the ramp, for the scry. Now, cut down is important. Not only that, but the other destructions like Bitter Triumph and stuff like that are going to be important because we are going to be committing crimes. This is a new mechanic from OTJ. Committing a crime is any time the targeting an opponent, anything they control, and or the cards in their graveyard is a crime. So if we play removal on someone, it is going to be a crime. Uh, cut down, Bitter Triumph, all those are going to be crimes. Greedy Avarice, um, if we target anybody... All those are going to be crimes. So Greedy Freeboot, a great way to ramp early on, which is going to be important because we want to get this combo off as quick as possible. Scry and, of course, the removal. Now, Insatiable Avarice is one of these new cards right here. Uh, he has a burning coin in his eye. It is a spree card. You have to pay one black, but you also have to pay one of these other additional things. Uh, you could play both of them if you want. It's like Super Kicker. So you could pay three black, and target player draws three cards and loses three life. You could force somebody to draw three cards, It'd be a good combo for Sheldred right there, and lose three life. Or you can search your library for a card, then shuffle and put that card on top. Or, hey guys, you wanna pay for all of it? Sure, why not? Uh, pay the pay the total amount. Um, you don't have to pay three for either one. You could pay the total amount and pay five and get to do them both. Um, so you could get the card on top and draw it and lose three life. It's a pretty interesting combo right there. You're going to see how this combos out even better as we go on. Ayahar's Oathsworn, because we kind of want a tutor ability. We also have Servant of the Stinger. Ayahar's Oathsworn is a great two drops, a 2-2 two, two Menace, one black and one. Whenever she deals combat damage to a player, if it has four less than four 1-1 one, one counters on it, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Then if she has exactly four 1-1 one, one counters, search your library for a card, put it in your hand. So she has a tutor ability, a little aggression up front. Bitter Triumph, we already talked about. Great removal. We can pay three life, whatever. That is going to be committing a crime. That's going to be important later. Caustic Bronco is another new card right here. This has the mount ability. It is a snake horse mount. It is a horse with a snake head that you can has a saddle on it and you can try to ride it if you want. One black and one. Uh, whenever Caustic Bronco attacks, reveal the top card of your library and put it into your hand. You lose life equal to that card's mana value if Caustic Bronco wasn't saddled. If it was saddled, each opponent loses that much life instead. So we can force life loss by having Caustic Bronco attack as saddled. So we could actually have Ayer's Earthworm riding the Caustic Bronco. All she needs to do is be a 3-3 three, three, uh, and have her ride that. Or Greedy Freebooter and Ayara can uh, saddle up both and do it. It's like um, 
It's like pilot or what is it, man or crew vehicle? It's basically a vehicle that you do. So we can lose the life if we just want to attack regular, but putting it on, uh, saddling it and swinging in, we look at the top card and we can force people to lose life. That can be a really fun effect if we know we have an expensive card coming. For example, if we use Insatiable Address to put one of our big boy cards and make somebody lose life. Servant of the Stinger is an interesting one too that I rather like, I think got overlooked. Um, one black and one Death Touch Human Warlock 1-3. When Servant of Stinger deals combat damage to a player, if you've committed a crime this turn, you may sacrifice the Servant of Stinger. If you do, search your library of your card, put it in your hand, and shuffle. You see we're getting a lot of um, uh, tutor effects off right there. So, Great Blocker, a 1-3 Warlock for 2 with Death Touch. Great Blocker. Also, I love this crazy neon uh, voodoo doctor um, uh, crazy art that it has. This looks like old school Magic the Gathering art that was, that was like to get weird. Um, so anytime you commit a crime, meaning any removal, you could just play one cut down, sacrifice him, and look for whatever your card and put in your hand. That's a great tutor ability. Um, Gixig Yagmoth, we need to draw cards. 3-3. Three, three. He's also a great one to mount with Caustic Bronco, because he's a 3-3, three, three, he can mount him himself. Caustic Bronco on that one, uh, Gix Yagmoth prayed her, and then immediately swing in with, uh, Caustic Bronco and go for it. Whenever a creature deals combat damage, um, its controller may pay one life. If they do, draw a card. We can get the cards off the top three of them. I rarely ever use the X discard and do that ability, but occasionally I do. He's just a great way to get more cards, get more value, and have a guy to, uh, a really convenient guy to able to mount the snake horse mount right there. Um, we're going to go with three Preacher of the Schisms. Pretty solid. Again, two, three Death Touch. It's kind of a heavy Death Touch deck right here. Um, card draw. That's what it is right there. Vampire Cleric, one black and two. Uh, when Preacher of the Schism attacks with the most life, Player attacks the player with the most life or tied for the most life. Create a 1-1 one, one vampire creature token with life link. Uh, so what does that mean? You, if you're attacking somebody with the most life, you get the life. You get the life link vampire. And then if you have the most life or are tied, you draw a card and you lose one life. Again, I'm trying to get cards out so I can pull off this upcoming combo, which I think you're really gonna want to see. Um, that is again. Figure out how to get it out there. Get good defense up. Get a good, you know, death touch defense out. Maybe put some little lifelink creatures up. Draw the cards we need. Now, this next part, you see it coming up. I know you all have been waiting for it. Or if you haven't, you're about to be surprised. Uh, this combination right here is what everyone's been talking about. Rush of Dread, Blood Letter of Aklazots. Rush of Dread is a new card from OTJ, and it is our number one choice for most powerful card coming out. The Black Council and myself. Uh, Numbskull and myself, the Black Council, we just said this card is ridiculously powerful. Why? Well, it is another spree card. So you have to pay two black and one and one of this additional uh, things right here. You could actually play all of them if you have the mana. So if you additionally play it for four, you get sa sacrifice half their creatures rounded up. Brutal to do somebody, especially if they have a wide board. Forcing a, a half sacrifice of their board for four is crazy. Play it for five discard half their hand rounded up, or the pièce de résistance, uh, the ultimate black right here. This is the deep dark black right here. Target opponent loses half their life rounded up. It costs five to do two, but you can pay the full price. So you could actually do eight and get all of them. What we want is lose half their life, okay? Why do we want half their life? Well, let's just take a look over at our good friend Blood Ladder of Aklazots here. Three black and one, vampire demon flying, if an opponent would lose that lose life during your turn, they lose twice that much life instead. Are you seeing the problem here? Half their life rounded up is all of their life with Aklazots. Um, you put Aklazots on the board and then next turn play Rush of Dread. It's over. They die. They could have a million life. They're going to lose a million life. They're going to lose half their life rounded up. Aklazots makes it all of their life nubbled up because it doubles the amount of life lost. GG. It's done, folks. Can't say anything more about it. With the extra treasure that maybe we can lose this, use Avarice to find the cards that we need, get them on top of our deck, um, even force more life loss if we want to be even more with Caustic Bronco. That's great to combine that with Bloodletter. Caustic Bronco, making them lose life. Great to combine with Bloodletter. Um, making them lose life with Insatiable Address. You can make somebody lose six life. Uh, for three black mana, that's pretty amazing too. But that combo right there, that's why we're tutoring for these cards. If we get this and get some treasure early on, we could pull this off by turn five. Turn four, Aklazots go down, turn five. We can maybe even do it sooner, maybe. Turn four, turn five, GG. Black wins. Um, amazing.
amazingly powerful. So even if you have a Blood Ladder on the board and you're drawing all these cards, you might draw into it with like Yagmoth's Praetor or Caustic Bronco or something like that or, or Ayara. You could might draw into it and not even have it. Do do Blood Ladder, they're still alive. Draw it off the top. And then, oh, I drew, I drew Yagmoth made me draw a Rush of Dread. I cast Rush of Dread, half their life is gone. Boom, it's over with. So it is going to make things painful. Mono Black about to do the big takeover, man. You're going to see this combo. Again, we haven't played it yet. I'm not invited to early access, unfortunately, but I will be playing this combo at some point. We will be going for it. Whether or not it'll be this version of the deck, but I just wanted to get you an idea about how to tutor, get the cards out that you need, how to draw extra cards with Mono Black, how to ramp. All the pieces are there. All of them are in play. All of the pieces are moving towards this final, uh, this final move right here, which is get him hit, get him out, get him hit, get him dead. Boom, it's over with. Rush of Dread, amazing stuff right there. We love to see it. Uh, Hidden Necropolis, Dross Pits, and then 24 black manas, 24 swamps all together. That's it. That's the full black death. That is the last full measure of the black death right there. Uh, I am super excited for OTJ. Do you have any other insane combos that you would want to pull off and pull all sorts of, sorts of things? Because there's all that. I mean, this deck is not just relying on this, it's not just relying on this. Um, combo right here we have a lot of good stuff in here on top even doing caustic bronco swinging in with blood letter Aklazos, you can make people lose a lot of life just by doing that and by doing insatiable avarice this is just like the grand finale the inescapable everything else is just leading towards black doom so i love to see that unfortunately the deck is quite expensive in paper if you want a cheaper paper deck version uh, take a look at my mardu that's only about 80 bucks tip to tail and that's mostly coming from the double land manas um, that you need for running Marty. You could actually probably get it for about 50 or 60, which is the price of about a pre-made. So if you want to spend that much, go check out my Mardu. I'll put up a card right in the corner right up here. Uh, you can click it or click it after the channel. I did put up a Outlaws, um, Outlaw Mardu deck that's a little bit cheaper, but this one is serious. Uh, full Black Death. I hope you like it. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. What's your hype level for OTJ? I hope it's high. Um, there's the rare count out right there. I don't know. I've never seen an ultra rare right there. Uh, the seven mythic rares, 16, nine, and 28. Um, not that hard on it. Really the only new, the only new rares we're putting in, well, the, we're putting Insatiable Avarice, Caustic Bronco, and Rush of Dread. Uh, no new mythic rares at the very least. So that's what it is. Tell me what you think. Are you excited for OTJ? Are you stoked? Do you like Mono Black? Are you excited for this combo? Please tell me the first time you pull it off. I'm going to be so happy the first time we uh, pull it off. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the deck when it comes out and the gameplay. Make sure you come to the stream so you don't miss it. Um, OTGA premiering soon. I believe this upcoming Tuesday, um, Tuesday the 16th on Arena. Make sure you're there. We'll see you on the back lots. Bye-bye, everyone.